We've known since at least 1992 at the Rio uh, Earth Summit that biodiversity is extremely important for humanity and the international community has invested billions of dollars in that time period in trying to conserve uh, threatened species, birds, mammals, others. What we haven't known until now is how effective that expenditure has been. Um, we've known that that expenditure has been far less than what scientists estimate is required to effectively conserve threatened biodiversity, and therefore we continue to have uh, the problem of biodiversity loss. That was really the impetus for this study. We wanted to see, was the investment made by international donors like the World Bank, the U.S. Agency for International Development, as well as country governments and a whole host of private actors. Was that money effective in actually at least reducing the, the rates of extinction and threatened species uh, levels? We found by developing a model that included both the threats to biodiversity, such as clearing for agricultural land, timber prices, uh, population growth, poor governance, by including those variables that would threaten biodiversity with a key variable that might actually improve the status of biodiversity, funding. By putting those in the same model, uh, we found that funding actually was effective in reducing the loss of biodiversity uh, worldwide. Particularly, it, we found that it was particularly effective in uh, some key countries for biodiversity. In Southeast Asia, Indonesia and Malaysia really stood out uh, where funding was very effective and that in the absence of funding, the, the already dire uh, situation for biodiversity in those countries would have been much worse. Uh, similarly, in more developed countries such as the United States and Australia, we found that funding also made a difference. Um, what's important to know about our model, in addition to this finding that, the sort of top line finding that funding actually is effective, is that it can be used to predict what might happen if country governments devoted even more resources. Um, to conserving biodiversity. And so this, the model that we have, uh, we believe should be used for that purpose uh, and can be a powerful tool as the world looks to confront the biodiversity crisis.